I am Ed Aquayo, Director of Data Center Business with uh, Eaton Corp. And I'm here to tell you that uh, the adoption of containment in data centers is rapidly increasing. Why? Because it drives higher efficiencies and saves money. That's bottom line. That's uh, real. Now, containment can be deployed in many different forms. Um, you'll see, even walking the show today, um, Rack-based heat containment in the form of chimneys, um, cold and hot aisle containment with end row doors and different ceiling systems. Um, you could even consider underfloor partitioning, crack collars, as uh, yet other forms of containment. And if you drive it down, even at the rack level, there's a form of containment that needs to go on uh, at the IT rack. And we call that rack hygiene. So. In order to maximize the deployment of your containment, uh, it's real important that you have a formal plan and you work the plan. So learning objectives for this uh, session include the following. We're going to identify and define the intervals or the phases of a successful impl implementation plan. Um, identify and align the key stakeholders and define performance metrics and, uh, and goals that those stakeholders are, are intimate with. Uh, we will examine how to break the mold of business as usual and um, build a business case really with ROI attached to it. Uh, we'll give you some examples of what questions to ask of um, service providers out there that are deploying containment today so that you can choose the right one. And then show you how to turn your data center or your data that you collect in, in your data center into usable information by analyzing and converting that data into validated entitlement, which really, really means ROI, return on investment. So uh, we define the design strategy for a containment project in really six major phases. Okay, and we've shown these on this slide here. Uh, Pre-design and discovery, assessment, pre-implementation planning, implementation, and then after implementation, there's, of course, measurement and validation that you've uh, done the right thing, and then finally, completion. Job's not done. You need to really wrap it up and uh, complete the task. The next few slides, we'll take a deeper dive into each one of these uh, phases and um, hopefully give you an idea of what's involved in each bucket. So phase one, pre-design discovery phase. This is the phase where communication begins between the supplier and the customer. Okay, discussions, Establish goals and objectives. Uh, define who the key stakeholders are. And um, this is typically done through consultation. May not require a site assessment at this stage, but definitely will require drawings, site drawings, floor plans, so that uh, the discussions can begin. Um, normally, containment projects generate uh, from a single business unit. Um, maybe a C-level type person or facilities manager. However, you know, no matter who the key driver is in that organization, it's very important to get buy-in and um, involvement from all levels of the organization to have a, a successful implementation. It's important to understand the key performance indicators and barriers in the data center. For example, Budget, time, performance, what's the motivation of doing this uh, containment project? Uh, all of these are very important to weigh in at the very beginning stages. Uh, the window to make these design recommendations should be made early, and this is very important, as early in the project as possible to avoid change orders and to maximize that uh, productivity level. And of course, uh, if government 
you know, utility rebates and incentives are available, it's also a very good time to uh, establish those right up front because they will uh, have a major impact on what your implementation plan will look like and making sure that you maximize those rebates and incentives. So it's all about building an ROI case at this pre-design pre and discovery phase. It's critical to, to secure alignment with your design team. As I mentioned earlier, there may be one person driving this project at the very beginning, but it's important to involve the whole team, C-level IT facilities people, um, and each one of those will have different, um, different goals and objectives, different design criteria. Okay. With that, you know, they may change, the lines may cross, but it's important that you gain input from all levels of the organization and eventually get alignment of the whole team moving in one direction. Planning. Effective planning, especially at the early phase, is probably the most important piece of implementing a solid plan. Um, so level of effort really will have a direct impact on your performance and if you do poor planning at the very beginning your finish line will be further out than as if you were to get the team aligned and do better planning you can certainly uh, collapse the implementation timeline and reduce those uh, change orders um, and reduce the impact on the whole organization so very important at the very beginning stages to get a high level of involvement of the whole team and make sure that your plan is solid. Also as part of this phase, uh, it's important you know, that you define, again, I, I mentioned the uh, utility rebates um, looking at certifications, maybe the certifications that, that the team wants to uh, comply with as far as LEED and Energy Star for uh, energy savings and maybe uh, UPSs that are uh, high efficiency UPSs or Energy Star rated servers and the like. Um, you know, they may set performance goals of, um, uh, you know, improving uh, or correcting out of tolerance conditions within the data center. Um, all of these things are important to building a project plan and setting goals. Um, this also helps at this stage to not only gather all this information, but once you develop that project plan to help the, uh, the organization, the stakeholders, to then uh, develop their CapEx uh, plan and their proposal for, for upper management and gain approval. So hope is not a strategy. You've got to have a solid plan. Phase two. Phase two is assessment. And this is the stage where um, we establish a method of procedure and, a, and conduct a site audit. So this is where we go and do a site audit and, and set the method of procedure. Project manager is assigned at this stage. And the project manager is assigned with, um, he, he assigned uh, establishes this method of, of, of procedure with established timelines and um, accountability at each stage of the project, which is very important. Project manager will all com also communicate the tasks, okay, the detailed tasks of the implementation project um, and making sure that the timelines are agreed upon by all the stakeholders involved. The audit, the site audit, is actually a necessary component at this stage to determine what type of solutions can be successfully deployed at the facility. There may be um, certain features or certain obstructions or, or restrictions within the facility that prevent you from deploying one particular type of um, containment in that site. So this is the, the site assessment will help you you know, pick and choose the right strategies for containment at this stage. <clears throat> 